Hello, in this video we're going to learn how you can configure a third party IO module into your device net of Allen Bradley PLCs. So right now I'm configuring this back of device net IO module where this 24 volt is your power supply plus this whole bar is 24 volt which says plus here. So 24 volt is going all the way through to different different cards and you have those terminals and then zero volt is going all the way through here as well and this is your ground so what i did here i connected this to this device net uh, terminal block we can say or connector and then zero volt here to the black so it's going into my device net card where i connected 24 volt power supply to this red and zero volt to the blue so now let's learn how you can configure that so over here i have already add my dnb card and if you see in this dnb card right now i do not have any file so there is no way it can configure like that so what we're gonna do to configure it you open the device net rs networks and i will go online and i will find where my module is which is at 192.168.1.10 i will go through the back plane this is my processor my ethernet card my input card and this is my device net card so right now you can see it's gray out because i need to expand this and go into device net and then i will hit ok it's asking before you allow the configure you just press ok it will start browsing the networks or devices whatever available over the network so we have to wait until it will scan so it's gonna search node from 0 till all the way to 63 and whichever address I believe I schedule I put my this device at device number seven I believe so it's gonna go to the seven and you will be able to see the device over here there you go so at seven I have found my back off module so I can hit cancel over here I double click on it and this is the general uh, page of it you click on parameter i want to upload from the device whatever parameters are inside the device so it looks like you can't upload it so what i'm going to do i'm going to hit download so now you can see the input and outputs you can click on this monitor so it's going to monitor all the way through all the parameters so now i can see the cos input size is three bytes and cos output size is two byte so i will hit apply yes and i will hit ok now i go into my dnb i will go to scan list i will upload I will just remove that whatever that is so I will click on back off I will try to put it in there in scan list now I go edit parameters so our cause input size was 3 bytes and output size was 2 byte hit ok yes yes so we will double check that if it's there or not yep so now you go to input you can see now whatever inputs we put it over there it's over here till address up to 23 and output is over here so now i hit apply download yes and hit ok to diagnose it you just start run continue and it will tell if there is any problem with the device or not we have one issue here mode is 
I believe it's in uh, idle mode so that's not a big deal so now we're gonna save this file into the location of download dnet and I'm gonna select here dnet underscore bkh save so now that's it about here now we will go back to our PLC double click on DNB and now go to RS networks we will go to downloads dnet bkh open hit apply yes okay so now let me put this one on side and camera on the other side okay so now i will expand my local output command register and i will put my uh, this dnb card into run mode so now if i will go to my output side my zero which was all here see if i press one here there you go my output turned on and my this output connected to the input so as soon as this output turns on 24 volt went into the input side so now if i'll see my input my input will be on as well right there i cannot make it zero because it's coming through the hardwired let's try the other one output data zero so now if i select the other one press one enter there you go my second one turned on as well if i expand this my first and second turns on so that way you can configure your device net card with any third-party vendor io modules thank you for watching this video